Hello, hello and welcome to Earth Rose Tarot. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. So this is going to be a love reading for my wonderful Aries. This is for Aries and Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. This is a general love reading, so it may not resonate uh, completely with every Aries out there, but I hope that you find it useful, helpful, um, that it does resonate and that you at least find it enjoyable. I would say take what does resonate and leave what doesn't for somebody else. And this is a timeless reading, so it's for whenever you come across it. So my lovely Aries, I'm going to start by getting a couple of cards from this deck to see what the overall energy is for your reading today. And then I'm going to go into a full and detailed spread and I will dig and clarify as needed. So can I get a couple of cards for Aries, please? Aries in love. What do we need to know? Ooh. Okay. Give me a couple more for it. Aries, wow. One more for Aries, please. There we go. Oof. Aries, my goodness. All right, so the first card you had come out was the Knight of Cups, almost immediately. Um, then the Six of Cups, the Sun, and at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So, wow. What can I say? The Sun, of course, is the card of Leo as well. Uh, sorry, it's not just the card of Leo, it's essentially the sun, but it's Leo energy, if you like. Um, and then we have two cards kind of talking about an emotional um, declaration or certainly feelings. This could be someone from your past with that six of cups. And I'm sorry for anyone who's only want to hear about new, but I can only tell you what the cards are coming out with. Um, the six of cups can doesn't have to be an ex. It could just be someone you knew when you were younger or you knew in the past. Uh, I mean, it can also talk about children as well. So we'll see where this goes. But there's definitely a, a very positive energy here, Aries, because essentially we have, even in this Knight of Cups card, you see the sun in the corner there as well. There is um, someone with wanting to express feelings or that feelings are growing romantically. And it's bringing a lot of happiness. I mean, the sun is, some readers call it the most positive energy in the deck. It is, it's an energy of happiness, of um, kind of radiance and feeling uh, renewed. There is, poten like, potentially this is renewed re feelings being renewed. Um, maybe for someone that you didn't necessarily have an ending with, just that you went your different, you're in your different ways, uh, different directions. Um, that Knight of Swords card being at the bottom of the deck, this, there could be maybe things that were said between you and this person in the past, which could have caused a little bit of conflict, a little bit of awkwardness. But I really see like that is quickly, if there's any tension, I feel like it's quickly going to be like you're gonna like work it out it's gonna be like there's just gonna be maybe be a bit of like um awkward breaking the ice you know first kind of few sentences and then once you're in you'll be laughing kind of thing um so let me get a little bit of clarification why the knight of cups for aries please Jeez. oh my goodness so the empress has come out um, the deck split to show the Hierophant and the Chariot. So three major arcana effectively, um, strong Taurus. I've got cancer there as well. Um, but her, wow. I mean, okay. No, that's like, hold on. That's like four cards. Um, well, the Empress is someone, it's, it's just absolutely incredible and feeling very, Oh, feeling very powerful, very strong frequency of like love and affection, of understanding. But in this deck, the Empress is really strong. She's really like, you know, she's not just a someone very caring. She's kind of someone that you look up to as a provider as well. She's very like strong, like something, someone that people rely on. This could be, I mean, I was saying with that Six of Cups, this could be about children as well. So if someone here is wanting children, I don't want to like 
that's not going to be for everyone but there's a very strong positive energy here about about motherhood as well um okay tell me why the empress please ah, okay knight of pentacles so now we have the knight of cups the knight of pentacles and the knight of swords uh, i wouldn't normally say this but it could be for some of you that there are um now, the, the tension could also, that I was picking up on could also be that there were a couple of suitors for this empress, which is not surprising. The empress generally uh, has a lot of eyes on her. Um, but it, the Knight of Pentacles is also, I feel like this empress might be the one who is developing feelings for someone, um, but she is has uh she's not rushing let's just say with that knight of uh knight of pentacles i was gonna say she could be a bit hesitant but it's just out i would say it's hesitant out of experience of when she's been very um loving and giving in the past and she's kind of been left on her own um, so it, this could be um you know <sighs> At the end of the day, she doesn't want, I'm saying she and her, etc., because it's the Empress who's the Divine Feminine, but that could be a, a, a male person in the 3D. Um, but it's, I'm just getting the sense that she's dealt with people in the, uh, maybe repeatedly people in the past who were not really at her, um, on her level, but she still gave to them anyway. And she was quite like loving to people who may have taken advantage of all her wonderful qualities. So now there could be feelings growing, which could be making some, this empress or someone very happy, but it's like, let's just slow our roll before we take this to something more serious. Why is the Six of Cups here, please, for Aries? Why the Six of Cups? Yeah, man. Okay, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. But again, it's um, the Eight of Pentacles in this deck is two people together working on something. Lots of Earth is coming out now as well. Um, the Six of Cups, if I show you the Six of Cups card, it's, it's two people um, also kind of potentially putting any, any spilt milk or um, putting any previous bad blood, like, let's put that aside and we can have like a, a new beginning together because they're kind of, they're holding one cup together, these two people. There are five cups on the table. Obviously we, we know the five cups can talk about disappointment, sadness, things that didn't really go right in the past, but it's there is um, a sense of <clears throat> moving past any challenge about that and um, for the sake of almost a new beginning. Uh, this could have been, for some of you, this could be someone that you, worked with in the past with that eight of pentacles it doesn't have to be though um give me another another one please six of cups and the eight of pentacles <clears throat> for aries okay okay wow okay so maybe for some of you this was um uh, okay, so what came out, we have the Tower in Reverse, basically, um, with the Temperance card. So maybe maybe spilt milk was an understatement if you guys went through a Tower moment <laughs> in the past. But um, this is definitely talking about reconciliation with the Temperance card here at the bottom as well, um, which is Sagittarius energy. But regardless, it's, it's an energy of there's been time, we've, we've each had time to kind of heal from whatever happened or whatever didn't happen i'm also kind of getting for some of you this could have been that there were feelings between the two of you that it never went anywhere maybe someone one person chose somebody else or the other person there could have been something about a different suitor which meant that now there could be a bit of tension it would be like um bumping into someone who you could have dated but you decided just as you were starting to like, you know, were, you guys were not exclusive, but just as you started to date them, you also met somebody else and you ended up going for that other person that didn't work out with them. And then you happened to cross paths again with the person that you kind of um, chose, passed over them, if that makes sense. 
in the past. So it could be a little bit awkward being like, oh yes, so you know I turned you down for somebody else. Well, that didn't work out and maybe I was wrong. Um, so and it, yeah, because, but I feel like you're both, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I feel like you're both in a, in a healed place because the tower is in reverse. Like the, the stuff hit the fan already. Maybe you both went to your separate corners and you both got on with your lives and you've both taken time to look after yourself and kind of get over it. But there is still a connection between the two of you because the Six of Cups also talks kind of like of um, previous life life connections as well. So why? Uh, and it looks like essentially the two of you are going to be wanting to work on something together. Why is the sun here, please? Why the sun for Aries? There we go. Wow. Death. Uh, with the devil at the bottom of the deck. My goodness. Um, well, this is like stepping out of the darkness, of the shadow of the freaking devil, into the light. And I'm saying that as well because I'm looking at this death card is literally go into the light my friend kind of thing but this is not about literal dying it's just about um a huge transformation you leaving leaving the past and, and the darkness behind you and stepping into the light and you don't get any brighter than the flipping sun um jeez there could i mean this is kind of giving me that there was something hanging over someone as well and there is going to be major transformation here Aries I mean this is going from like the darkest pit of hell in the, with this card what is the name of that part of hell um I can't remember it. it's Greek Greek mythology thing I can't remember the word for it uh, but anyway it's like it doesn't matter stepping out of that and stepping into the sunshine it's this is huge Why death and the sun, please? Why death for Aries? Type. <laughs> um, the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Aries. Um, whew, okay. For some of you, I have to say again, with the Six of Cups coming out with the Ace of Cups, some of you, and this would be a major transformation in somebody's life, if they, um, if I, there could be a pregnancy here. For so I have to say, the Six of Cups twice in the Empress, and this major change, which is bringing a lot of happiness, and this um, new, new thing in your life that you absolutely adore. Um, yeah, some for, there could be pregnancy involved. That's not going to obviously resonate for everybody. But where it's not about that, this is talking about. Oh, it's like just came into my head it's like a, a huge change by going backwards to go forwards again is what what came into my head it's like going back to the past to change it completely and then to go forward to a new beginning it will be like it's it's giving me like a time machine vibe of being able to go back to something that got screwed up and give it another chance to change what happened so that actually now your reality is is the what you could have had i'm literally talking about this six of cups with these two people holding the the cup together and being like we could have a whole new beginning and then we have the ace of cups so that came out with the six of cups so yeah wow amazing for some of you, maybe there was a uh, full-blown connection, relationship. I haven't seen a, an ending as such yet that suggests that that happened, but maybe for some of you. But if it could be a full-blown ex or this could just be... I'm getting for more of you, it's going to be someone where it just never completely got off the ground. Um, let's go into your spread, Aries. So, and if... Every single person you have ever known, you don't want anything to do with them anymore, ever again, then this is not your reading, obviously. 
but um you know it i'm not absolutely not advocating you know the toxic karmic ex giving them another chance this is not that this is not that at all so let's go into your spread areas so whilst i'm shuffling for the spread if you could just kindly hit the like button for me it just takes a second and it means the world it helps the video circulate the youtubes and subscribe if you haven't already and if this is resonating leave me a comment and let me know i'd love to hear i'd love to hear that so can i get the top eight cards for my lovely aries please Tartarus, that's the name. Oh, sorry, this brain goes a bit slow these days sometimes, but uh, there is, <laughs> it's just that, it's just this Greek mythology thing of like, there's hell and then there's a certain, certain special circle of hell for the real, really poor bloggers and it's called Tartarus. That's what I was trying to remember earlier. Maybe that will mean something for someone out there, although I think it's just me rambling on. So anyway the top eight cards please i really need to get a greek mythology tarot deck i really need to find a good one they've been getting really into that recently anyway all the shuffling for aries okay there we go oh. Aries, what are you doing to me? <laughs> what is this? Okay. Wow. Um, okay. So I'm going to show you the bottom of the deck at this time. So is the two of swords now, but I, I think this is what's talking about what is to happen in the past. And it's literally what I already described with, you know, bumping into someone where you're like, Oh, I chose somebody else over you. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, because underneath the two of swords, we have the star which I can't really show you fully because she's naked, but the star. Underneath the star is the Ten of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Um, this and the, and the King of Swords and the Tower. We already saw the Tower and I was talking about that this is literally could have been what happened. And oh my God, and there's the Queen of Swords underneath that. Um, King and Queen of Swords with a tower in between the two of them. And it came from someone's in either indecision or bad choice. Or that they needed to make a choice and they didn't in some way or another however there has been as i said with the temperance card there has been healing people looking after themselves doing some self-care self-love since this ending happened um okay Ooh, wow i do see you having options here aries multiple options like underneath the king queen of swords uh, is the seven of cups with the King of Wands and then the King of Cups. I mean, this is, um, I feel like you may have a couple of suitors as well, which could make this extra awkward if this person tries to um, come back in and like, have some sort of reconciliation. Um, that could be a little bit awkward about, you know, well, I'm just going on a date with somebody else, but let me think about that. Um, let's see, let's go through the spread. How you're feeling about them, Aries? We have the Ten of Cups. So that is beautiful card to begin with. Um, I mean, it tells me, and they are they are also holding a child together. It's a very sweet ten of cups. This is like you feel like they are your um, happily ever after. That you would be immensely happy to be together. Maybe for some of you, you may actually have a child with this person, uh, but the two of you aren't together anymore, um, and you may feel like you and them and your your child or your children coming back together would represent such happiness um, and joy for you. But if it's nothing to do with children or wanting children with this person, then it's just that you feel like absolutely besotted with them, um, that you still have so much love um, and you have so much emotions and they, you, it's like you, the happiness you feel being with them is very hard like to try and replace with somebody else as well you may feel like you you're no, just not as happy with anybody else's as, as when you're with this person how they're feeling about you we have the knight of pentacles which um we saw already in the from the one of the first decks clarifying the empress 
Um, so this is telling me that they feel like they want to um, they want to make you they want to move things forward but they want to do so slowly um, they may feel like um, slow and steady wins the race kind of thing um, they may feel like they want to do things properly but there has to be like a certain amount of you know groundwork put in before rushing too much um, with any further steps um, now how they're viewing you Aries we have the king of pentacles I said there was a lot of earth at the beginning didn't I king of pentacles uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus I'm just going to show you that in another position of eight cards out of the whole of the spread we have the queen of pentacles so we have these two on the spread which is the matching counterparts it is also a committed the committed like counterparts to each other they are the couple who have a, a fantastic relationship generally like they're really stable and respectful and mutually loving and nurturing um it's like um the best qualities of the emperor and the empress obviously i'm a bit biased being an earth sign but i'm just going to say that anyway but anyway going back to your spread they're viewing you as the king of pentacles they're viewing you as someone um who is very trustworthy loyal um, who works very hard, who has really strong morals um, and also maybe a little bit traditional, but they're viewing you as someone, maybe even you could say stoic, like you handle a lot of a lot of things with grace um, and but you, you can be quite serious as well. Now their current situation is the devil. <laughs> Hold on cover up a bit the devil in their current situation which i don't love to see obviously this is capricorn energy um here unfortunately <laughs> that is the devil um but it's interesting that i was rambling on about um the name of that part of hell <laughs> whilst i was shuffling i don't normally do that by the way that is not a norm in my readings um, and it's funny because now we have the devil in their current situation this could be a whole lot of different things that obviously i'm going to clarify but this tells me that this person might still be struggling with something that is kind of oppressing them now it could be depression or something along those lines it could be addictions to, or something very unhealthy there's something very unhealthy in their current situation um I'm going to clarify before I say anything else about what that devil is. Now, what they want to happen in the connection between you and them um, at this time, Aries, we have the Hermit. So that's Virgo energy, more Earth again. But it's interesting in terms of this being what they want, because this is kind of what well, we know, like when we go into Hermit mode, we kind of like go in, in being very introspective, maybe even take some time to ourselves to find out some answers find information like go on an inward journey to think about things very carefully to um to find the truth to find inspiration it's like a a, a soul searching energy as well so uh is what uh, in what they're wanting to happen but it is also quite um like to withdraw to think about things Oh, it's all I can say about for now about what they want to happen. What is the block or the challenge to this connection, Aries? We have the Three of Cups. So the challenge here could be that someone has multiple options in love. Um, it could be, I mean, that's the strongest message I'm getting with this Three of Cups card. Um, it could just, it could be that someone in, enjoys or is trying to keep things casual, or it, I was going to say enjoys um, going out and indulging in, in drinking, in, well, socialising isn't really, you know, it's not that, it doesn't have to be an unhealthy indulgence, you could just be a really social person. It could be that one person is, the challenge here could be that one person is very social and the other person is more of an introvert, um, but I think there's more to it than that. I'm going to clarify before I say the action that this person is mo most likely going to take towards you next, Aries, we have the Three of Swords. Um, 
So at the end of the day, this is um, this is very painful. And in terms of an action, I want to know what this means, because this could talk about that they're going to do something that's quite hurtful. They're going to... Um, or it could be that they want to actually, you know, undo the hurt and the damage that was caused. They could be taking some sort of action about a third party as well. Um, let's see. Something that they are actually stuck in, potentially if they are in some sort of karmic relationship at the moment with that devil in their situation. What's going to be happening, which is more of a optimistic uplift at the end, what's going to be happening between the two of you going forward, I would normally say the next few weeks, the next month when you come across the reading, is the Queen of Pentacles. Here she is, the counterpart to the King, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Energy. Um, this, in terms of what's going to be happening, um, tells me there's going to be um, quite a stabilising energy here, quite a nurturing energy into the connection between the two of you. Now, it's just, we have the King, the Queen and the Knight of Pentacles here. So this is like, this is two people who really value the same things. They're really aligned on important matters that actually allow two people to come together and be in a very harmonious relationship like that. So the fact that they're viewing you as the King of Pentacles and what's going to be happening as the Queen of Pentacles is that this I just see like two people really being on the same page as each other. So I just don't understand why, you know, some of the other, what else we have going on. So with that being said, let me clarify and I'll find out what else is going on here. So... It's like two people that are in a commitment with each other. I don't know, there's something going on here. I'm going to try and get to the bottom of it. Um, let me just take a sip because my voice is gone. Okay. <clears throat> Clarify for my Aries, please, with the top eight cards from this deck. For some of you, this could be someone who you were in a full-blown relationship with, you had children with, and there was a tower moment where you ended up separating. They are now in something that they are stuck that they have potentially committed to with someone else and we're talking about a like a, a mother and father wanting to get back together and be together with their children but the problem is that this one person has committed elsewhere so now they they are kind of Okay, let's see. All right. Boy. giddy aunt Aries so at the bottom of this deck we have the seven of swords is the first card seven of swords and then basically underneath is the king of sorry the king of swords with the ten of swords and the devil and then the two of cups hiding underneath that I mean we just had from this deck the ten of swords the two of pentacles and the king of swords Why am I getting that this is talking about um, one person is in, you're, this person is coming through in this reading, Aries, not you, the other person is in a commitment. Obviously it could be roles reversed, that's how I'm reading it, is, um, is in a commitment, but you and them have history. 
this would be like you and your ex wanting to get back together with each other but the problem is that they're now committed elsewhere not in necessarily a very happy commitment but regardless they feel trapped in that situation i was almost going to say it before with the devil and now this devil here is literally two people that are encased in this little greenhouse little jar um feel like they're trapped in their situation hmm okay let's go through the spread how you're feeling about them aries we have that ten of cups and it's clarified by the moon so it's giving me that the two of you have um maybe this this love for each other but you're you feel like you have to keep it hidden you have to keep it under wraps you have to uh keep it in the shadows away from other people knowing that the two of you having these feelings for each other um there's also a sense here about fear of the uh what might happen a fear of what happens next um but at the same time i'm getting like a i'm you know i'm a little bit worried but i'm gonna do it anyway it's, this is kind of giving me the that there is concern but of what might happen but it's like for this for this feeling i have with this person i'm willing to you know go off into the darkness i don't know where this leads but i will i'm worth it's worth it is kind of what i'm getting but yeah i'm also going to get a sense that you feel like you might need to hide this from other people um at the moment which is understandable considering what i just suggested uh how they feel about you and this makes more sense now knight of pentacles with the king of wands so they feel very i mean that's your energy as well aries with that king of wands but they feel very um passionate and driven to take action on this but they feel like they um because the king of wands is is definitely someone who would rush a little bit so it's kind of like they feel a little bit conflicted here about um they know what they want and they know what they want to do and charge towards but they're trying they're having to temper that with what they feel like they that the approach that they should take of a more um slow and steady one a little bit more um let's not rush anything and screw this up and now how they're viewing you we have that king of pentacles clarified by the star so that aquarius energy again but essentially they're viewing you as their hopes and dreams that almost got away once is what i'm getting effectively and they don't want to and now it's in reach again um, they're viewing you as just out of reach essentially and that would make sense if they feel kind of trapped it's like you're at sorry for the big pause there i was just thinking because it's like you're um they don't want you to slip out of their grasp is what i'm getting it's like you're so close um maybe close enough that they can touch you but they feel like they could lose you again at any point and the king of pentacles um not the king nor the queen neither of pentacles neither of them want that kind of instability they they really value something that they can rely on something they can put their feet solidly on the ground and it for it not to be fleeting and it's like the star energy is giving me something that's like it could feel like trying to hold a, a, a ball of sand and it's like the sand grains are just falling out between the fingers so they're like they're seeing that they could if they don't do something to stabilize this as well then they could see themselves like you slipping away slipping out of their grasp again and you don't want to let the king of pentacles or the queen slip out of your grasp they're pretty special hold on to them that could be any sign like zodiac sign uh, can come can be in that king or queen of pentacles energy um so what is their current situation what indeed we've got the devil clarified by the five of cups look at this person head in their hands drinking too much there's a snake that's like wrapped around those cups as well um oh this person is it may feel like they um 
and there's a snake wrapped around the person's throat. I mean, this person is feels very like... Now, again, this could be because I said potentially that addiction uh, or something unhealthy in, in their lifestyle, this could be talking about um, a, an issue with alcohol, to be perfectly honest, um, that, or some sort of substance abuse. Um, let me get this one. Let me see. Can you tell me more about what is going on in this person's current situation? The person that Aries is here for? What is this devil in the Five of Cups? In their current situation please oh the five of cups is at the bottom of this deck i mean look at their face as well and in this deck all five cups are, are falling over this is not a classic you know where there's two cups standing up in the back no they are looking at everything is ruined and on top of that the other two cards that came out the eight of cups and the eight of swords i mean in this deck this this is the most miserable expression and on two people's face though, and they both come out. This person is miserable in their current situation. Now, if you know they're with someone else, that, that is a visual depiction of how they are feeling in that relationship. Um, but the Eight of Swords talks about there's two people there and they're trapped in the, oh, they're trapped in their own, the, the, what is that phrase? I can't remember it, um, but it's like they've they've created their own prison with this other person and now they don't see a way out of it. <clears throat> they don't see a way to actually, it's just like someone really resolute in kind of just like giving up. Um, as I said, potentially a little bit depressed. I don't normally say that. Don't say it lightly, for sure. I mean, the Five of Cups um, is, is clarified by the Five of Cups. This person feels like they, they have really focused on what they lost in the past and feeling like now they can't even get out of the current situation that they're in. What is this? What is this all about? I get the emotion of this person, but what is this, what is this all about? <clears throat> it's despair, basically. Mm. Page of Wands has come out. I'm, but yeah, I knew she was gonna come out. Queen of Swords. This person is so dissatisfied with whatever their situation in the moment is at the moment because I was also going to say like on this on this eight of cups card there's like four cups that was really drawn to one two three four that are upright and it was like the the eight of cups obviously we know talks about you know leaving things that aren't emotionally um, I'm a dog, um, that aren't emotionally fulfilling, like leaving that behind. But it's like instead this person is sat in the middle of everything that is not emotionally fulfilling. And at the bottom of the deck now is the Four of Cups. So this is someone who's completely disinterested. They see no hope emotionally in where they're at. And then the, we've got the Queen of Swords coming out as well. Oh, then why can't they leave? Like, obviously, why can't they change? What's keeping them trapped? What's keeping them? The, ta the tower. What would the tower? So they feel like it, there would be some sort of um, there would be some sort of disaster in their life to actually get out of this situation where they feel trapped. What would the tower be? King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Um, the Four of Pentacles come out like that with the, the like the Knight of Swords effectively crossing it. Okay. So for some of you, this person is in a situation where they're now, they feel like they've 
wrapped too much of themselves up in um, the practical and logistical elements, which means they are now, they can't see a way out of it. It's like they've got themselves into some situation financially with this other person where everything is too like intertwined with them. And they feel like if that they would lose their lose their stability and their security if they were to try and get away from it. So they're sitting in despair and unhappiness because they feel trapped in that situation. Oof. Aries, for some of you, I just got with this um, Seven of Swords that's at the bottom of the second deck and the two of swords that I showed you at the bottom of the first deck. This person may may try and um, have something with you without getting out of their current situation because you feel like you need to keep it hidden. It's almost like they might be trying to get you to have a hidden an affair, a hidden affair with them because they feel that they can't get out of what they're in but they also don't want to let you get away because you represent wish fulfillment for them and you're in love with them. You might have children with them. So let's move on. Um, what, yeah, this makes sense now actually, now I've said that. What do they want to happen in this connection with you, Aries? The Hermit is clarified by the Five of Swords. This Five of Swords, this is very, the clandestine is the word I keep getting in my head when I look at that moon and now it makes sense. Like the Five of Swords, what they want is for think this to not be spoken about. The hermit, even it could be that for the two of you to actually um, kind of withdraw or um, keep this, like you see how this, this hermit is kind of searching in the darkness with a torch. Um, and then we have this five of swords, which, which is like things that we can't tell other people about. It's like they want to keep this as something that the two of you have in the shadows, in the um, that other people can't see and that you don't talk about with other people, that this is an off-limits subject to talk about with others as well. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. <clears throat> this makes sense now. So the block or the challenge to the connection is the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So we have, we've got two queens and two kings, to be fair, on the, the spread now, but... Um, I strongly get that there is a third party involved and who is maybe, could be a water sign, could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, definitely doesn't have to be, but this is someone who, there's a lot of emotion involved with that Queen of Cups. Um, let me get this deck, tell me about this, why the Queen of Cups? The Tower in Reverse has just come out. What? someone trying to avoid a tower moment what was someone who's very emotional two of swords oh wow two of swords sorry before i shuffle it away with the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um the challenge here that there is that there are deep feelings between you and this person that is unquestionable and um but the problem is that there is three people here and this person, Aries, is not willing to make a choice between you and them, the, the third person, because it would end up in a disaster for them financially. Sorry to be the bearer of this news. Started so beautifully in those, those starting messages. Yeah, my God. Seven of Swords with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And I am I'm clarifying the Queen of Cups. Um, this person wants to keep this hidden and um secret affair maybe they, they may also have some sort of compassion for the person that they're with like they might not be happy but they don't want to break their heart kind of thing it could also be that as well um they may have like they may care about the other person too but yeah this is what we're looking at here aries okay the action that they're most likely going to take towards you next we have that three of swords clarified by the eight of cups so this Eight of Cups card is someone in this deck, is someone separating themselves off from everyone else, kind of going, missing in action, um, detaching, uh, and also kind of pushing you away, potentially even as well, just being like, I'm, I need to be on my own. I need to like 
Oh, but this is going to be so painful for you. I'm sorry to say, and hopefully with a bit of pre-warning, this won't hurt as much. I hope if this is resonating for you, obviously, or I, you know, if this isn't resonating for you. If it's not your story, then also good, because this is going to hurt. Basically, this person is going to act very cold and put themselves into solitude. I mean, this person is in such a miserable, miserable situation, like that Five of Cups clarifying the Five of Cups with the Eight of Cups and the, their solution to how to deal with all of that is to Eight of Cups it, again, like basically to detach themselves from you as well. Maybe because you are not willing to to move forward with, uh, you know, being the third party kind of thing. Anything else you can tell me about the action that this person is going to take towards Aries? Ten of Cups in reverse. Judgment has come out. And now we have the tower upright Ooh, with the five of swords and the world. Aries, there's going to be the judgment is going to be a moment of reckoning, a, a significant moment of maybe it could even be you going, like, are we doing this or not? Um, there's going to be uh, things are going to come to a head with that judgment energy. And the thing is that um, in the Major Arcana journey, if you, you go through the judgment, uh, you pass the judgment, if you like, in one way or another, then you get to the world and that is, that's come out as well already. But this is, it's a very painful way of, of getting to the world with the Three of Swords, Ten of Cups in reverse, the Five of Swords with the Tower. This person could say something with that Five of Swords, absolutely horrendous as well. It could be in a very defensive way because this person is so trapped and unhappy in whatever is going on in their life and if it's not a third party which i strongly feel like it is but if it's not then it's something to do with their lifestyle maybe um maybe a substance abuse problem that they don't want to or they feel like they can't stop whatever it is, their, their solution, as I said, is, is going to be to push you away. And it, it's going to be pushing you away in, in a very brutal way. I'm sorry to say that, Aries. Um, this is also, you know, how you're feeling the Ten of Cups, but having to keep it hidden with the moon. It's like this person kind of shattering that um, illusion with the Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm sorry, this is a really hard message to, to give. Oi, um, let's see. So what's going to be happening between the two of you going forward? We have that Queen of Pentacles and it's clarified by the Page of Cups. Um, this Page of Cups, Aries, could be talking um, about an apology. But this person in this Page of Cups card is holding their hand up like a shadow puppet to create. And it's creating the shape of a fox. And the shadow, I don't know if you can see that on that camera. So it's kind of, someone is making some sort of gesture to try and, to try and show you that they care about you. If you do have children with this person, then they might be doing something nice for your child, your mutual children, or your mutual child. Um, this could also be with that Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. This could be you, Aries, focused on your... The Queen of Pentacles kind of is a nurturing energy. She keeps a lovely home. She looks after her loved ones, you know, So and the Page of Cups can be a child as well. So this could be for some of you, you turning your focus more on looking after yourself and your loved ones. Because to be honest, this... This person seems to take some sort of really dire, um, dire action. Um, maybe they, they are in a state of despair and feeling like there is no choice, like it, it's stuck between a rock and a hard place kind of is their mentality about this. 
So I don't see either you, I mean, it could be you trying to reach out to them again, trying, you know, with that page of cups to try and reconnect with them, um, trying to reach out. Uh, is there anything else you can tell me about what's going to be happening? Yeah. Uh, what is this page of cups um, with the Queen of Pentacles in the outcome? The Fool in Reverse. Justice. Yeah, that the hermit, but it, it, the hermit landed on top of the Eight of Cups. And bearing in mind what this person wants to happen in this connection, Aries, is the hermit. Um, what, it seems like what they want is to actually, is to, to detach, um, to go, to like withdraw into themselves and to push you away. I feel like, um, they may, at some point, uh, going forward, they might apologise um, for not being able to take a, like a, start a new chapter with you, to take some sort of risk, to take a, um, a make a big move in their life, uh, that they, they feel like, imagine um, capturing a, like a grasshopper in a, um, a bell jar, and this person is that grasshopper and it doesn't matter like even if they wanted to the grasshopper like to leap to do a big big jump and jump into like a new new chapter of their life they can't because they're in a bell jar so it, they might be they might be sending some sort of gesture or message to you know try and reach out to you and to apologize because they think it's the right thing to do to try and make things right with you with that justice energy to for not being able to take this leap with you i mean things can change obviously but right now i'm just seeing this person in a very negative space and acting quite hurtfully to you because they are in a very i don't you know don't always agree with hurt people hurt people not always like but I feel like here this person is hurt. They're in a very pained place and they are going to end up projecting that onto you, unfortunately, Aries. I hope this message was helpful. I'm sorry it wasn't the loveliest message. It started so beautifully, so I'm sorry. You know, I, have to, I can only read the cards that are here, though. Um, so let me just get you a couple of these before we finish. Um, it's my, they are a spirit animal deck. I'm a bit new to these, so let's see. I, this is like my first readings using them, so we'll see. <clears throat> Can I get a couple of messages for Aries, please? A couple of animals for Aries. The cards are enormous. I thought I had quite big hands, but damn. Can I get a couple... There we go, there's one. Oh, there's two, okay. Interesting. So we've actually got, um, we've got the canary. There we go, canary and the bobcat. That's an interesting combination um, because it's kind of giving me Tom and Jerry vibes. Uh, <laughs> or like Tweety Pie. <laughs> Tweety Pie was a canary, wasn't it? Um, and the cat in, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so the canary spirit in this, in the book, if you like, it talks about um, being your person, being your own person, <laughs> sorry, singing your, your authentic song and that kind of thing, like uh, speak your truth and be yourself and live authentically kind of thing. And the bobcat is talking about, um, well, in the in this book, again, it talks about things, life is strange, life is mysterious, there are, you know, but f for me, I just, I have to, I have to say, this is just giving me like a cat and, um, and, and something that's out of reach, because it's also what is, 
and I'm, I try not to go by the book at any of my decks. Like I always say, bear, that, bear it in mind what it says, but I'm here to interpret intuitively for my readings. So um, what I'm getting, looking at these cards is that there, it's like you are out of reach to this person. You're like the beautiful songbird on, uh, in its, you know, on its perch or whatever, quite high up somewhere singing beautifully but also something that this um this cat wants to um be able to pounce on but you know in like uh with Tweety Pie he always gets away like Tweety Pie he always manages to dodge the cat um the cat never quite gets them but they are so like completely obsessed with trying to get that bird but it's always out of reach and this is kind of what I was saying with this star card as well when it came out about how this person sees you i said you are like this you know the grains of sand rushing through their fingers they see you as their heart's desire to be able to have you but you're just kind of out of reach um so i guess there's a message for you it's to don't don't you like stop living authentically living true to yourself and you know speaking loud and proud about who you are um but there is there's a hunter vibe here from this person but unable to catch you um so that's why i've got interesting little ending message i hope it, someone enjoyed it out there um thank you so much for watching please do hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment if it resonated let me know i wish you all my best thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you soon aries bye